he is a unique look for hitters as well. And the first pitch of the ball game is on its way and hit on the ground and short and off the glove of Lodi's into center field. It'll be an error on the shortstop to get things underway. Starting right field, Blake Sear had thumb surgery and is going to miss the next two months. And this could be a double play, and it is. So those ground balls that you talked about from Jamie Arnold already. Kuve, big physical third baseman. And he lines that one to first. It's cut, and the inning is over. A one, two, three, first. Accolades already pouring in for Link and his second year here back to where he played for the late Mike Martin. So I'm going to miss Williams down on strikes. In the last 10 of last season on all 33 played today this year and here is James Tibbs the third and the first pitch to Tibbs on the ground is the right side to second for one on to first. That's a double play. And for some reason there was just a little bit more energy in that stadium. First strikeout for Arnold. Here comes Jason Torres. But for the players, it was just that competition level. Torres down on strikes, back to back punch outs for Arnold to start the second. Because he can just do so much just with the fastball alone. Carrier shot off to first. And the foot to Arnold covering and a quick one, two, three, second. Five in a row set down, .22. Tip just draws a walk pro career when he's drafted later this summer. Bouncer to the right side. Gloved there by Torres. He'll take it himself, and the inning is over. His between start routine. And he gets his third strikeout and being confident to do it. Called strike three on the outside corner. Complete game in Omaha. Ferro was in the Florida State lineup. That's a liner over a leaping third baseman and down the left field line. Throw a big turn at first. He's heading for second. And it's a leadoff double for the Florida State second baseman. Today hitting ninth. He squares to Bunt and bunts up along third. It's a good one. Cuvée to first in time to get him. The sacrifice puts a man at third with one out in the scoreless game. Here's Max Williams. And he hits the first pitch through the right side past the diving Gonzalez to score a run and Florida State leads one another. And Williams again just being aggressive early in the count is ready to swing it understands the situation understands the gauge zero is up there and he is going to try to throw strike one. This pitch is in he's able to turn on it to make up that room. Smith lines that one into center field it's a base hit. Stopping at second is Williams and Florida State keeping the pressure on. At Coupe at third, he's going to have to bring it in, and there might be a spot open. The runners go again, and the pitch is low, and the bases are now loaded. The 0 1. Swinging a chopper to the left side. Gloved to third. Coupe comes home, and he throws it away. One run scores on the play. Everybody else holds. It's 2 0 Florida State. Still one out. FSU gets another run, but you can see he does everything right. That ball hits onto the ground right in front of home plate. you got to come charge. He does that. Just kind of pulls that ball away from Perez. Jackson West swings at the first pitch and drives it to center field, going back and making the catch is long. Tagging and coming home is the runner from third, Williams, and it's 3-0 Florida State. On the ground to short with a little tough hop. The fielder's choice recorded and the inning is over. Just fly off the screen at you, but he has an idea of how to pitch as he gets to change it for a strike three there. It's five punch outs. The way you can get the swing over the top. The payoff. Swing and a grounder right to Furrow. He will throw to first and 11 in a row set down by Jamie Arnold. He hasn't allowed a hit through four. Early, that this could help keep that pitch count down. Lodis in the air to left. That one playable. And Villegas will make the catch a one, two, three inning, a very quick one. Arnold getting back to work here. And the pitch. That one lined over the head of the third baseman down the left field line. It's the first hit for Miami. Gonzalez is on his way to second. The throw not in time. A sliding double for the leadoff man here in the Canes fifth. 
Gonzalez Jr. is not your typical cleanup man, but a big double there, and the first pitch out of the stretch for Arnold. Since the first inning goes to the screen, and now there's a man a third with nobody out. Put that one out there. Swing and a miss. Elevated fastball, and that's strikeout number six for Arnold. Probably get a good pitch to hit. You just let him swing it. Outside ball four. You know, the batting average is low, but he puts together good at bats, and he has power. And he lines that one to left down the line, and that's going to be extra bases. One run is home. Carrier around to third. He's going to be waved home. It's a two run double for Lucas Costello, and Miami trails three to two. Look at this swing by Lucas Costello. You talked about the veteran. It's a slider, and that's what we talked about. If you're going to be able to pull, it'll be that slider. If you're thinking big part, you're going to catch that ball out in front to that left side of the infield and keep Costello there at second. Now here's J.D. Urso. Urso lines that one to right field. It'll get down for a base hit. Costello around third. He's heading home. The throw from Tibbs is high. He's safe. Urso to second. He is out there. 3-2. High in the air. Shallow right. That's the second baseman Gonzalez out there, but it's the right fielder. Uh, let's see if he goes back to that fastball in or stays with the slider. Just missed with the fastball. It's a two-out walk. Just two of nine. Inside and hit it. But, I mean, it's the light thought process in your hand. Swing and a miss. An on base percentage in 2024 in conference play 225. That would miss as high, and that's the third walk issued by Zeal tonight. Power hitter, former American Athletic Conference Tournament, most outstanding player, pops it up, and it's gloved by Gonzalez, and the inning is over. Arnold working very quickly. Arnold Brown to short. Nice sliding stop by Lodis. His throw not in time. The pitch. Called strike three. And he's ready on the delivery. Swinging a fly ball. Center field coming in. Williams. Williams has it. Inning over. Jamie Arnold with a lot of three runs in seven innings. It's time to stretch in Tallahassee, Miami, and Florida State tied at three. And that's one of the things that I kind of harp in on. Urso has it jump up and bite him, and it's going to be an error on the shortstop that allows Lodis to reach. When you get a pitching matchup like this and it lives up to expectations, it is the best. In the air to left, that one pretty well hit. Back to the fence. It's gone! Max Williams the other way! A two-run home run, and it's given Florida State a 5-3 lead! Second time, Tibbs has walked. Oh, and two, the pitch. Outside, runner goes, throw down to second. It's in time to get Tibbs. First time he's been caught stealing this year. They can't really ask for much more than what he did on the mound today. Nine strikeouts and just was dominant. Long, long to deep left field, and that one off the scoreboard. It's gone. Jacoby Long with just his second home run of the season, and Miami has cut the deficit to one. Boy, if you're Miami and you're Jacob Long, this is how you answer back after that bottom of the seventh inning. You go up there and you hit this. Had just one home run on the year before that. Here's Viegas. And it hit him. And now the tying run is aboard, and here comes Cuvay. He's the tying runner first, nobody out in the eighth. Cuvay in the air. 
Shallow right center, Williams has it, one out. See who goes back to it. That one on the ground to first, glove by Cantry to second for one, back to first, in time to get him! Miami may want to take a look, but as it stands now, a sensational 3-6-1 double play to end the inning. Where he was able to get the out, but this ball was well struck by Gonzalez, but gets it over quick to Delonte. I don't know. I can't see. Really, here we go. I think he got him. It is a huge double play. And he is out, and the inning is over. The 0-1. That one lined to center field, long on the run, makes the catch, and crashes into the fence. Is he okay? What a great running catch by Jacoby Long, one out. To Dinges, the pitch. Called strike three, inning over. These two teams have split the last 213 meetings. Joe Charles back to work, and the first pitch Swung out by Jason Torres and hit to right. Tibbs is there. He'll make the catch for out number one. Swing and a miss. The left-handed hitting catcher transfer from Oregon. The last chance for Miami tonight. First pitch. He swings and hits into center field. Ross is there. Makes the catch. And Florida State hangs on to take game one of the series five to four.